Hi, John Hart here. This is an informal walk through uh, some of our West Side here in Manhattan to show you three-dimensional representations of some of our perspective chapters. Instead of just lines on paper, we're going to show you actual converging lines and vanishing points on our horizon line. The bar here represents our eye level, which is always with it, no matter where we move up, down, side, right or left. Here the lines in the fence are going to the guy and the distance on the left on our eye level. This lady's walking into what would be our vanishing point. All the lines in the building, the upper lines and the lower lines, point one to one point just below the awning. And the following examples, you'll see many of these. Look at that building on the left, the lines converge back to the horizon line. And the lines on the right of the building converge back. A horizon line and vanishing point right where the lady's walking. Now watch these figures. They're going to walk right into a vanishing point. Just below the lights. Again, the gentleman walking straight ahead into a, his own horizon line on his own eye level. Here again, to the right. Look at the upper lines and the lower lines. The lights converging to that one point, the dark figure on the right. See if you can find the vanishing point and eye level in this sh uh, segment shot. Very obvious in this too. Follow the lines in these abutments, straight back. Find your own vanishing point there. Just below the yellow box. That's the Ansonia directly across the street. Two-point perspective, lines on the left converging to the horizon line, lines on the right converging the horizon line on the right. Now, if we follow these lines straight up into the sky, there'll be a vanishing point where all these lines will converge way up in the sky, but it w would work that way. Follow the taxi cab to the vanishing point. Very obvious here, where is that wall pointing? Where is the wall pointing? Here again, where is the wall pointing? Find the vanishing point. On a higher level, it's still the same principle. Horizon line, our eye level, follow us wherever we go, up or down, right or left. Gentleman's walking right into the horizon line. Now we go to the other side of town, a little transition here. We're going to see some students. We're right in front of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. We're going to pan back, and here are some drawing students sketching the building across the street. Their concern is with two-point perspective, but the emphasis is on the lines on the left of the building. Upper lines and lower lines will all converge or recede back. If you wait just a second, you'll see a red car going right into their vanishing point. In other words, they're re reproducing the three-dimensionality of this scene on paper. But it'll become more obvious with their drawing in correct perspective, reproducing that 3D reality in their drawings. Watch these cars and where they're going into the vanishing points. Red trolley straight ahead. Watch these steps. The girl on skates going right into you know what. These converge, you find it. Very obvious these lines are pointing directly to it. Right, left or right, right or left. Lines on the right converge, lines on the left converge, their own vanishing points. That's two-point perspective. Got two sides of a building, and in this case, the steps. There's a higher angle. 
see where those lines converge. Watch where this little truck goes. Right into what we're talking about. Find the converging lines. Same thing in this shot. There's, you see the drawing student again. Here it's very obvious. Find those lines yourself. And here again. Point directly below that window. This is the reality around us every day. Our horizon line, our vanishing points, follow us wherever we go, up or down, right or left. And they help our drawing because we know what's going on as regard to these converging and or receding lines. Steps pointing directly, you know where. This points directly at everything we've been talking about, which I hope has become obvious. Thank you for watching. Keep these elements in mind in your drawings. Check out the chapters in the book, and good luck.